So I said I'd wanted to be recovering some better discoveries that I've been putting out on this channel since I've opened this channel. One was showing you how this polygonal walling could not have been machined from what they call the quarry and in fact it was a week ago I won't mention the channel's name but it was showing the science uh, a documentary that was put out a few years ago from this Russian team showing how uh, where they suspected that the material for the polygonal blocks geopolymer say uh, could have been taken from it turned out that it couldn't have been taken from there just by looking at it okay under a microscope and anyway let's be honest you don't want me to just sit here making videos for you repeating other people's work and some supposed science that's uh, been taking place when they only consider certain factors that run into their narrative so that's the last you will hear me on that one i want to focus on the four i think discoveries that i've made are mostly around sexy human which nobody else has ever seen i've shown you them before but i'm going to put it all into one video seeing as that we are looking at trying to figure out what polygonal walling is mainly why it's ended up looking this way so the black and white image that i just flashed up saying basically correct to me i would say that is indeed basically correct that the outer walls that look polygonal today were just smooth walls you know there were smooth concrete walls or filler i'm talking about wooden framing wooden beams okay that ran across the entire wall uh, and then it was just filled in okay and over time through frost weather subsidence calcification rotting of wood okay it ends up just cracking so i am trying to flash up as many examples as i can ancient and modern just sticking to peru because uh, as i was creating this video it was just endless and uh, i have to end it somewhere otherwise the video would end up being half an hour long okay now i'm trying to show as many imprints for the wooden framing the reason why it rots away in some cases i'm not totally sure but we can see the imprints of it no doubt about it so with the red lines that i've drawn in here it looks like some type of sack you know string that's been holding the mass of geopolymer into position yeah has left an imprint in the blocks which i know are large but that's just what it appears to be to me you know there should not be there the blue lines that i've placed around the edge uh, is obviously wooden framing which we can see all across this wall some of it rots away sometimes and then here and there it just leaves a hole right where archaeologists tell us that ancient peoples came with a tree trunk and they were shoving it into position right but it is indeed the wooden framing it's like a, a retaining wall that they've built all right so i'm clearly showing more imprints of this uh, partition walling that runs outside the main structure which has also petrified for whatever reason you can come up with your own ideas but an, another discovery that i thought were pretty major was these sacks because there must have been filling areas of this wall and if you take a look at this it looks like steel framing from let's say like a skyscraper falls down it's got iron or steel girders running down the concrete 
because I noticed at the bottom, if you look at the bottom, it looks like it's buckled and yet it's all mineralized, calcified. And these are also some of the discoveries I made on my own here. Have a quick look at these because I think these are pretty spectacular. Uh, and I will get back to you towards the end of the video because I have got something else to say. Anyway, we're at the end of the video, so on the screen you can see that archaeologists have been trying to shore up this wall, right? Well, the next few images are going to show you imprints of something that seems to have taken place in the deep past. Because the exact same imprints are all across this wall. It's something similar to that anyway, I'll leave it with you. Well, if you like that, ladies and gentlemen, and you want to help the channel moving forward, you can press on the link in a pinned comment, which will be in every video from now on. Thank you.